Are you joining me today, Scooby Doo? Hello, little boy. Hello, little boy. Hello. Hello. I thought it was time I did a coffee vlog because it's been a while. <laughs> um, first off, uh, uh, thank you, I guess, to everybody who's messaged me and things and emailed me and everything else. Um, asking if I'm alright. I don't really understand why that is, but apparently me taking a month off Facebook caused a big stir and everybody wanted to make sure I was okay. I'm fine, I'm just busy. Sometimes you have days where you go onto YouTube and you start watching a video about, you know, a, a traveller's notebook and five hours later you start learning how to speak giraffe. Yeah. Um, that doesn't happen to me very often on YouTube. I'm very disciplined about that uh, because for me, sitting watching TV all the time is not one of my favourite things and YouTube comes under TV for me. So, you know, I tend to stock up my videos that I want to watch, add them to my watch later and then I watch them all in one go and it's like an hour and a half instead of 15 minutes here and 30 minutes there and 25 minutes there and before you know it you've spent the entire day on YouTube. But I don't have the same kind of discipline with Facebook. <laughs> Facebook is, I guess because I use it as a, as a proper social media thing, I don't use it just for friends and family. My family isn't on Facebook. I, I think one of my uncles is on there but nobody else is on there. So I don't really have any family on Facebook. All my close friends I talk to pretty much every day anyway. And we do it off of Facebook. So Facebook for me is just a, another way of chatting with my students and you know people who watch my videos and you guys and things like that. It's, it's a proper social media platform for me. So yeah, it can be a bit of a time sink. It's not like just popping onto Twitter and reading the last three tweets or checking on mentions or whatever and replying to questions and you can only write 140 characters. It's like a constant barrage of things. Um, together, I suppose it's part of the fact that you have to be friends with people on Facebook. With Instagram and Twitter, you can pick and choose who you follow so just because you followed me I don't feel an obligation to have to follow you back um, if you're doing something that I really enjoy if you're posting links that I really like you know if you're posting stuff that I'm interested in I will usually follow you back uh, I, my Instagram feed is a bit crazy because I tend to like everybody's photos <laughs> It would be very easy to follow 4,000 people on there, but I try and keep it to a minimum. <laughs> um, I also, I will tend to follow people for two or three months and then unfollow them and follow somebody else and then come back to them later on. So I do kind of rotate rather than just following the same 300 people all the time. Because, especially on Instagram and Twitter, you only get the last 150 actions. So there's no, there's only so far back you can go, especially if you use it on the mobile like I do. But with Facebook it's endless, <laughs> it's an endless barrage of all 400 or so people who have friended me. Um, I actually prefer, in all honesty, if people just follow me because all my tweets are public, I don't have any private tweets. If I do have private tweets then I will privately send them to a select group or list. I've got my list set up and I do occasionally tweet to close friends only. Uh, but, you know, I don't really put personal stuff on Facebook, so I don't see any point in put, making it personal. I don't, I don't like putting very personal stuff on the internet, so... <clears throat> yeah. I don't know. Sometimes it feels like I share everything, but I actually really don't. And I'm, I'm a very private person. I don't share an awful lot with very many people. And those who know me know that because they know things about me that you guys don't. <laughs> um, no, I just like to keep personal and pri private separate, uh, private and public separate. And I don't feel that, although I 
tell you guys a lot and I like to you know give you as much information about the stuff that you're interested in as I possibly can and certainly about you know as far as art and journaling and planning and my passions you know and I, I share my dogs because everybody seems to love the dogs Scooby's joining me today Scooby-Doo Scooby-Doo hello oh he's sleeping he doesn't want to join in today uh, you know, I'm quite happy to share that kind of stuff, but I don't share personal information. I just don't. And I find that because of that, Facebook becomes too much of a chatty kind of time sinky kind of too much going on place, if that makes sense. I mean, it, obviously, it's to do with how I use it. It's not to do with who I'm friends with or anything like that. It's just, I'm an introvert and I don't like the constant barrage of information from people. I am not a social butterfly, I never have been. I like to hear about everything from select people as opposed to everything from everybody because I'm nosy and I want to find out this, that and the other. Uh, that doesn't mean you can't share your journal flips because I will totally nose on those, <laughs> as you know. Um, but yeah, no, I'm fine <laughs> in, this is very rambly today, I'm sorry, my head is half in something else because I've been working on stuff. Basically, September is busy, busy, busy month for me because I'm currently wrapping up the last two months of When Frogs Sing 2014, which is my year-long journaling class, and it's a daily journaling class. It's not like, oh, I do a lesson every so often, or I do one a month, or one a week, or whatever. This is a daily journaling class. And while I've already got it mapped out, and I know what I'm going to do and everything else, that's still a video every day, or near enough every day, uh, or links, or prompts, or whatever. So it's quite a lot of work. And I'm currently working on just wrapping up editing November and recording December because I don't like to work too far ahead. And then of course I've got um, two new classes coming out. I've got When Frogs Sing 2015 starting on January the 1st and I have Christmas Chronicles 2014 which is my annual uh, journaling, planning, organising for Christmas class starting on December the 1st and of course there's all the setup and prelim and marketing and you know everything that goes with that that needs to be done now because I do offer payment plans for um, subscribers and students and you know people I know as long as I have a vague idea of who you are <laughs> I will usually allow you to do a payment plan it's three months and you know if you want to pay before Christmas and get it out of the way then September October November is when you want to pay it so I'm trying to get that out of the way and get it all set up so that I can launch the payment plans and allow the people who want time to pay a little bit more time to to put things together for next year so S September is a busy month and then on top of that I've had to move all my archiving because my hosting site doubled its uh, pricing plan this year Last year it was pretty reasonable for what I had, but I didn't use it enough to warrant doubling the pricing plan. So I am also have been archiving things and moving things about and um, Martin's been keeping me sane while I spend a lot of time going, ah! <laughs> no, seriously. And um, yeah, it's just been a lot of stuff that I need to get done and I, in all honesty my planner even I haven't even been using my planner very much because you know I'm sitting archiving stuff so it's basically writing a list and ticking it off and making sure it's there making sure it's there making sure it's there making sure it's there making sure it's linked making sure it's got the right description you know, double checking and checking and double checking and uploading and double checking it's just constant and it's not very interesting. <laughs> well, it's not interesting enough to share anyway. So, yeah, that's what I've been doing. And while I've been doing that, I've been catching up on things like Once Upon a Time, 
I love that show. I tried getting into it when it first came out and I think I watched the first half a season. I didn't get to the end of season one. I never found out what happened. I think I got as far as what happened with the Huntsman. I'm trying to put it in such a way that it's not a spoiler. But if you've seen the show, you know what happened with the Huntsman. Um, that is where I watched up to. And then I, I kind of, I think that was all that was available in the UK at the time. And I just kind of lost uh, lost interest. I, don't, I just I can't sit and watch a, a show that is you watch one this week and you watch one next week and you watch one next week and you watch that drives me nuts because by the time I get to next week I either forget to watch it or I forget what happened last week. I hate that. I would much rather have a whole season and sit and watch one season over a weekend. Oh Scooby Doo's awake. Hello Mr Scooby Doo. Do you have an itchy? Do you need an itchy? Oh. Oh, Auntie Claire scratched the itchy. Scratch the itchy, Auntie Claire. My little foster boy, he's still here. He's been here five months. Look at his little face. He wants a home, don't you, darling? Oh. You like to sit with Auntie Claire, don't you? Oh, he's grumbling. Tell us about it. Jibs! Leave it, babe. <sighs> Yes, he's still looking for a home if you're in the UK and you're looking to adopt a, a little German Shepherd. He's like a mini German Shepherd. Pocket rocket, aren't you? Hey. Oh yes. Mwah, 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 kizzy, kizzy. Mwah, 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 kizzy, kizzy. No. We don't do kissy kissy, so not that kind of a boy. <laughs> oh, he's a beauty, isn't he? Little love. Here's Miss Maddie move my coffee before Miss Maddie goes crazy with it. Hello Miss Maddie. You coming up? Come on then. Come up. Oh, there she is. Look. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Watch the claws. Watch the claws, maestro. Watch the claws. Hello, Bubba. You're going to say hello to your fans? Say hello. Say hello. Oh, no. Say hello to Mummy. Okay. Say hello to your fans over there. No, you don't want to. All right then. Yeah, crazy dogs. <laughs> this is fairly normal. Hi. Hello, darling. Oh, she's going to sit up there with Scooby-Doo. Ah, oh, they have kisses. Yeah, show your bum to the camera, Mads. That's, that's the ticket. Oh, now we've got two pocket rockets. Oh, she wants a belly wrap. <laughs> this is normal. This is what happens all the time, and you can't see it, but the Gypsy's down there with her head on my knee, uh, making sure that I don't go anywhere. Miss Maddie wants tickles. She wants a tickle belly. Oh, tickle bellies. There we go. Crazy girl. There she is. Hello, crazy girl. She likes to sit and look out the window. <sighs> News. What news do I have? Um, I am working on some new videos for YouTube. Oh, snuffling with a cold nose. She's holding on to my hand. <laughs> Baby. I'm working on some new videos. I am currently making the cover that um, a while back Carrie Harling did a giveaway and Nicole won um, a Hobonichi cover. Well, I finally found the canvas in the colour that she wanted. So I've got hold of some of that. It's here. It's looking really good. And I'm going to film making it because so many people asked about how I made my covers. And I, because I hand sew, I think it will be useful to show you how to do that because there's an awful lot of people who are scared of sewing because they don't know how to hand sew. And I, th I feel it's, it's actually easier than it looks. So if I can show you how to hand sew it, then those of you who are scared of sewing machines, like me, can, you know, make your own <laughs> instead of having to rely on other people to do it for you or, you know, whatever. <sighs> I should have done a list of things that I wanted to talk about, but I didn't get that far. 
I just wanted to make a vlog and say hello and say stop messaging me <laughs> asking me if I'm okay I'm fine that sounds ungrateful I'm not ungrateful at all I, I appreciate so much that so many people after like 10 days of not seeing me suddenly messaged me like are you all right you haven't been around you know um, I really do appreciate that but I'm just I'm not the kind of person who tells absolutely everybody absolutely everything that's going on so unless you are somebody that I talk to all the time you can expect the stock answer I'm fine I'm just really busy um, but in actual fact that is the reason <laughs> right now even even close friends will get the same answer I'm, I'm fine I'm just really busy it's September so yeah Oh, I may, I redid my blog. You might have noticed. Uh, my I have two blogs. I have a Tumblr, which is it's really a way of for people who fo don't follow Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or whatever to f be able to follow me and just get daily updates and and social stuff. Uh, everything that posts to my Tumblr posts somewhere else as well. And it just means that if you're not on various different social media platforms, you don't have to be. You can just go to my Tumblr blog, romanysrealm.org.uk, and see what's going on there. I also have my proper blog, where I actually do, you know, blog posts and put videos up and things like that. And it's all brand spanking new and it looks really pretty. And I'm so proud of it. Uh, Romany.org.uk, if you want to go and have a look at that. And... Rather than just putting up YouTube videos, what I've started doing is doing a corresponding blog post. Uh, one of the f feedback comments that I had from a lot of you was, you love the videos, but it would also be helpful if you just had some things written down that you could read, because not all of you are visual people. Some of you like to read things so that it cements, uh, and also to add more links and things. So I've been doing that. Every video that warrants a full blog post has a link to the blog post down below and it will always say more info in the blog post so there's that I'm also I'm thinking I will probably do vlogtober again this year because I really enjoy it I love the build-up to Halloween it's one of my favorite times of the year but obviously being so busy at the moment and recording classes and everything else my days are not all that interesting so I may not just do only vlogtober I may do just a video every day that's you know sometimes it might be drawing or journaling or planning or a quick vlog or you know something with the puppies or something I don't know I, I may just do something every day uh, because I do like I say I enjoy vlogtober it's um it's fun doing one every single day and having had a month off and only posting a few videos this month it would be nice to get back into the swing of it and do daily stuff once all the planning for next year is over so that's where I'm up to that's what I'm doing that's what's happening uh, I do intend to do some more Witchy Wednesday videos but I'm going to do a separate um, video about that because uh, in actual fact when you see this it might have already gone up I can't remember when I've scheduled it for but yeah I'm doing a separate video on that because I, I hit a wall on it and I know why I've hit a wall and I've worked through it and I've found out what I need to do next so that will be a, a separate video because I know not everybody's into that but again do remember my my witchy wednesday videos are not me teaching anything to do with witchcraft it's all to do with making a pretty book and doing arty stuff and all that kind of thing because that's what a lot of people asked for books of shadows and stuff and how i decorate mine and things like that and i think that's it i've got lots of videos coming up but nothing right now because like i said i'm finishing this archiving thing and trying to launch my new classes and all that sort of stuff but I will be back on October 1st with proper vlogs and stuff. <laughs> I will see you then. Bye.